hey guys welcome to my channel good morning so here is our porridge that we cooked last night and this is how it looks i hope you can see mm, it smells so good so the fermentation has worked well and you can see some bubbles on top let's take a mixture let's mix it and see wow you see this is how it's supposed to look it will taste bitter not too bitter but in the medium way it's there's a way how it tastes funny or it smells weird but it's so good and natural this is good yes for some of you who know the good thing that comes out of this let me not spoil it but hey uh, there's a secret behind of this fermented porridge that all of you should try it but i didn't use the millet flour i just used the flour uh the um, uh, flour made out of wheat so sometimes I, if i say flour people get confused so this is wheat the brown one so let me test and see how it tastes because we cannot make something without tasting it after here we'll have to keep it in the fridge whenever we want to drink it we come and take a sip okay let's taste our porridge let's see Oh my god guys mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. it really tastes so good um it's a bit bitter it's like it has in some lemon in it but there is no lemon there is no sugar and this is how it's supposed to be mm. so this is good let me keep it now in the freezer not in the freezer but i'll keep it in the fridge whenever i want to take it then i come I take some So you have to keep it here in a jar can and then let it stay in the freezer for it can stay for one week it depends on how you drink it if you're many but it's only me i think i'll take it for three days to four days sometimes i don't eat lunch so it will be able to help me to keep my stomach busy ah here we go now let me clean the jar can and keep it good so here is our porridge this is how it looks so i've just used this lemon just to decorate the tray but there's no any lemon added in it it's just the fermentation the yeast that i made and i boiled the porridge you, you see it all in my video make sure you watch until the end and make sure you subscribe to my channel my name is nora thank you so much guys for watching and this is how it looks so let it stay in your fridge for as long as you want maybe one week two weeks hey guys if you don't have millet flour just use the wheat flour to make this delicious porridge at home it's so nutritious with enough energy okay, it's time for me also to taste my porridge wow really tastes so good there is that bitterness that you feel in it it's not too bitter but it's somehow you know medium but it tastes so good yeah so make this at home so that you know, won't miss out anything thank you guys for watching